so the question, I mean, people have been watching me do uh, coding different things. So I made Select and Bash. You can go looking at RDBX uh, slash RDBX Rob slash choose, and you can see my version of Select. No, I'm not going to redo all of the utilities in Go, but I tell you what, I do need a lot of them because I, you know, just like Alpine or BusyBox, I want to have a monolith binary that I can ship around anywhere that has all the stuff I need in it. And that, I mean, that means like things like cat and TR and find and replace and stuff like that. I don't need to have the actual utility implemented, but, you know, if you're writing the functions that you're going to need to call to do those conversions already, and you're making them into a bonsai stateful command tree branch, that means they can be composed into anything, right? You might as well make a command that goes with it. Because if you make a command that goes with it, then maybe you just need that one command and you want to use the binary and you don't want to put those those you don't want to call those commands from inside your monolith the really great thing about bonsai is that it's it's completely composable and modular so so you can write your high level functions that you just call from you know any library of that code any any code anywhere and then you also have those things that are encapsulated into composable commands that can be put into a, you know like my z thing right so z tab tab here's all the this is all of my composable things right so like for example unique right unique is has got some stuff in here that is almost like, you know, like a date command, iso date, iso date, for example, you know, that prints that I could do that with the date command, right? But, but, and I could implement the entire date command if I wanted to and encapsulate that command into any bonsai command branch. And, and that, so, so the appeal, I mean, over time, it's very possible that many of the things that have already been created to be, to run a standalone uh, applications or binaries uh, with really obnoxious options that have lots of dashes in them and stuff like that, that I will eventually have some form of them, a simplified form, of course, that can be composed again into a bonsai command branch like my Z so that I can use it wherever and I can take it wherever with me. And, and I'm slowly writing some of these things uh, potentially even including Vim at some point. I mean, I'm actually really interested in reading the source code for the VI that's embedded in Alpine Linux. You guys know this, right? But Alpine Linux comes with VI because it's using BusyBox. It's come, it comes with a, a really minimal version of VI that runs inside of a 1.5 megabyte binary along with a bunch of other tools. And that's the approach That's the approach that Bonsai takes with Go. So it allows you to, to implement tools and allows the community, the Bonsai community, which I haven't really built up the Bonsai community. I'm still waiting for another year for it to really, really settle and simmer. And I mean, I've been using it. It's been used in production in at least three major corporations that I know of. And people are starting to use it all over the place. But but I still, because it's going to be such a huge standard, uh, I, I before I presented it like GoCon or something like that, GopherCon, I I really wanted to to get good implement Ed first. It must be fun, absolutely. In fact, if if somebody if somebody wanted to implement Ed as a bonsai branch, I would I would be willing to pay you money for that. And and I don't have a lot of extra money, but I there's some tools that I want. I'm going to put bounties on, and I haven't done it yet. But there there are some core utilities, like for example the date utility, right? Um. Or you know, or Vim actually, uh, I would I would love a bare bone version of VI. Not call it, don't call it Vim, call it VI. And I mean, but I don't know. Maybe we could even get Vim in there, so it actually you know reads Vim or say I don't. I doubt it. I doubt it. That would be such a huge effort. And and your binary, your monolith binary for including Vim of that size would be you know out of control, big. But you would still have it, and you'd still be able to distribute it rather than installing Vim on all your target OSs and everything. Um, I mean, one of the really great things about putting this all into a monolith like this is you can make you can make a pod in kubernetes or a container or something and just put the one binary in there and just like this busybox and alpine do if i i can build an entire linux distribution bonsai linux that is built around all of the tooling that i prefer in my own uh little monolith right so my particular choices on that and and I mean, I'm totally fine using Alpine or, or BusyBox, but but there 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 are some things that I still want to make that don't exist in Alpine and BusyBox, and the choices would be you know ship a shell script with it with Bonsai or Alpine or something, or 
you know, compo- put it into a, a monolith binary, which is what I'm doing. Because because the long term benefit of having a, a monolith that has all of my utilities in it is far outweighs the the hassle of maintaining 300 individual, you know, very few line scripts that I run in my dot files. So I personally am moving away from dot files. Because Go is the perfect language for this. It's the absolute perfect language. It doesn't get in your face too much. It's just enough. It's more of a hassle than writing bash code, of course. But but it, it's just enough. And so a lot of you're seeing a lot of my tools getting navigated over, getting migrated over. And that's why you're seeing like so many of these different these different things, like Epic Time, even you know. And I mean, I can, there's like Tmux things. At some point, I mean, I I I I wouldn't mind seeing a lot of these internal things uh, ported over because then I can. I could basically ship an entire Linux distribution with all the tools that I want. Not the not the Linux distro, but the all of the tooling for a Linux distro. I mean, it's 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 conceivable. It's conceivable. Busybox and Alpine do this. It's conceivable that we could arrive at a point in the next five years or so where I can make a, a Busybox binary. I'm sorry, a, a bonsai binary that the only thing you would have to put in it is a kernel. You put a Linux kernel, and then you put that. And all of the tooling, including init one, uh, could be run from a single binary, or at least all of the tooling. Maybe we leave the system D on there because you can't really get rid of that, right? But maybe, but maybe the the shell itself is is you know a very minimal minimal shell. We're not talking about Bash or anything. Although we could ship with Bash, right? You could ship with any kind of minimal shell. And then, but Busybox doesn't. Busybox the shell from Busybox is Busybox. It's actually inside of the binary. So you could go ahead and put that in there and, and go with it. So so that's that's the answer to that to that video.